Yes, the weather is most inclement. Well, blowers on, because <coughs> it is freezing in here. I've got a new diesel blower, but I've got the last of the propane. Um, yes. Excuse the noise. Right, um, refurb steering box went in. Um, I couldn't get the shims for the other steering box. I'm going to get them made up. So, the <laughs> I've got the steering box which the customer gave me, which is largely scrap to be quite honest, because the bearings in it and, and, and the wheels and stuff, the internal components are all knackered. Um, then I started pulling my own steering box apart, which had play in it, and then couldn't find the shims in order to get rid of that play on this main shaft that goes at the top here. So I thought, ah, oh, fuck's sake, so I bought a refurb steering box from Paddock Spears. Three bolt, straight in. There you go. Steering box, intermediate shaft is in. Naturally, I took the hoses, the reservoir was bone dry, the pump only had a residue of um, oil in it, and the high pressure pipe had some water in it. So I cleaned it all out and put it back together again. There you go. Hello, heater. And then I started now, it's a bit quieter over here. I've started there messing around with the steering arms and links. Hello. So, you know, I thought well, we can have a, a little look at what I'm doing over here because you folk, good folk, keep asking me to show you shit. Right, so we've got the steering arm that goes from the steering box to the left hand front hub. I've placed the gator on the end there split. I've placed the gator on the drop arm because it was split um, and I was then going to just confirm that the link can actually be adjusted. It'd be a bit blooming useless if it can't. And the last thing I was going to do was just double check so that actually fits on here. I think it will. Like that, of course. Is that nut? Yeah, good job I didn't give it some heat of hope, wasn't it? <laughs> Took the nut off to put the new uh, boots on there. There we go, that's done. So drop off and go on to the car. Um, right, and then all I've done really here is undo the pinch bolts, bang back the pinch clamps see if I can turn these. I should be able to. If I can't, then we've got a problem. Well, that one turns. Does the other one turn? No. There's some nice flats across here. Look at that. Can you even see what I'm doing? I doubt it. Seriously, clank, 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 clank. Right, so what I've done is mounted one end of it in a vice, the other end, just go back and click. Nice, that'll do. Right, now, are we going to, yes we are. So both ends turn, which is good. It means we can adjust it. Looks like there's plenty of room in here as well. Right, to the end, I took the rubber gator off, the ball joint is C solid, oh no it doesn't work, rust on the joint itself, I don't know if it is ever going to live, I think it's probably going to be a bit on the drug side. So I'm inclined to replace them. Right, now this needs to, so we need to, this is like a fairly heavy duty, it's got these big, big flats working on it, isn't it? 
So this is a reverse thread here, these other two are standard threads. I'm going to replace these two bolt threads. Both of them are very rusty, at least what remains of the, um, of the gator. So bollocks to that. Go in there. It gets all of these pitch bolts undone. And then we'll see how much fun we can have getting these old ball joints out. Now, because the other ones came apart quite nicely, I'm anticipating these will too. We'll leave the other one on there for a second because I want to see if I can turn. Sometimes they need a bit of heat, sometimes they just come straight off. This might need a bit of heat. this up and get back together again. Can't buy new steering arms. And they're not actually that expensive either. But if I can get mine done, I will. This is a good rattle can this one. The other one's been like plastic coated. So obviously I was more reluctant to put the stilts across it, but I wanted to get some kind of flex in the tube in order to uh, get it off. Good old trusty pipe wrench. Left-handed thread. It's a lefty, tighty, righty, loosey. short section off then just replace it with a long section. So you buy the whole damn thing I suppose but it's not uncommon for these things to be absolutely and utterly sea solid.
And then my number one tip for this, make sure you leave the clamp on the arm, because you can't get the clamp on once you put it all together, um, and then you'll be swearing. Normally planets have to align these things to uh, all completely come apart. It's turning into one of those days today. Uh, right, okay, prop shaft. So these are pretty much as supplied. Um, a couple of observations. First of all, uh, they were both... Oh, the joints, while they had oil in them, fluid in them, they, they, they were a bit on the sticky side. Now this, this end is fine. The splines uh, were bone dry. Now they move beautifully. More importantly than that, the, uh, the gate was done up too tight. So, the prop shaft couldn't possibly extend to its fullest extent and you can see here where it's been painted up until that <laughs> it's quite a long way out um, so what I'm going to do is fix it back on so that the prop shaft is in its extended state clamp it and see then if there's enough room for it to compress because if it can't extend then what's basically going to happen is it's just going to tear is it not so let's do that fella up first of all i put grease in there by the way there's no grease nipple on it but i borrowed one of the grease nipples out of the uh, universal joints and pop that little chap in there Do that one up now it's actually quite big clips on this i'm not entirely sure how it's going to affect the balance so i might be inclined to suggest we do away with clips and use some um, zip ties the size of this one got some weight to it should put it back in fact let's put it 90 degrees to that one, 180 degrees to that one so we'll do it there Right, do that up. I should hold the gator in place then. The gator is really quite useful to, to, to slide, kind of slow the ingress of dirt and crap into the splined area. Um, just slows them down. Slows down the, the, the wear. Oh, that's gone off the end there. Look at that. That was a fail, Richard. Got a bit berserk there, haven't I? Let's do it like that. So that is still extended. Let's do it up. We're not going to know whether this thing is out of balance or not. So it actually gets on the road and then they're a pain in the ass to balance unless you've got a proper prop shaft balancing kind of workshop which I haven't and they become a bit of a faff now what I'll do is I'll compress just shoot a bit of excess grease up the top end here because I filled it up with grease you see <laughs> quite a lot of grease come out of that end so I'll probably find the splines was the only thing that had been bloody grease on it. Because I assumed that we hadn't, so I put a couple of good squirts in there. The cack out the kidder. Right, there we go. Now compress and extend and compress. That's better. Right, so that's fine now. So we're getting the full movement through the uh, through the seal. Now, we can move on to this end now. It's as notchy as fuck that way. 
really is, look. It's loose there and then it goes tight. So I'm going to take this UJ apart and see what's going on. I suspect they are relatively recent, so I'll try and get it apart intact. But I think what's probably happened is either missing a roller or one of the rollers has dropped um, and got itself trapped underneath a cup. Which is a bit blooming useless, isn't it? Oh, I've not even looked at the backdrop yet. I can go there, 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 tidy desk. Oh, yes. Oh, the other thing's good. Coffee. No, it's not gin. It's far too early for gin. I know it's past six o'clock somewhere in the world, but I'm not while I'm working either. So, that rotation works. This one is just horrible. So, I'm going to undo these two clips. Let's see what happens to it. So, it's probably fine. It's been painted in there and it's moving. It's going to make it easier. It's probably not the best circuit dryer to be using on these style of clips. Because they've been painted, you see, in situ. Which is fine. Keep banging on about, you know, go for the army approach of assemble fully and then paint. But um, it doesn't help in situations like this. Well, I've got loads of circuits, so I'm just going to see if I can have a look at that. Oh, it's. Um, oh, we're dropping everything today, Richard. No, I'm not dropping one of those. It just ends up in outtakes. She's coming out. Got my hand over it so when it fires up in the air, it's not going to hit me in the face. bash the um, joints down a little bit to give me some space. So if I can get the device over here and get number one adjuster, I'll put it away. Okay. Fuck you. Leave the knife out of the way, Richard. If you're hoping for me to hurt myself, then uh, yeah, there's a fairly good chance of that. It'll end up on the outtakes, I'm sure. Oh, come on, you fucker. Well, what it's actually done now, let me... Use the drifts which I had here just now. Here, drifts are still here. In fact, this drift. So if I can bang the cup down a little. Lighting, cameras, action. These are particularly shit fucking clips, these are. I prefer sir clips, they're a lot fucking easy to work with. These are just cheap nasty. Correct use of a neon screwdriver here, you see. Use that. I've got a bit of a long handle, less likely to uh, break my neon screwdriver. And I've got the shops to buy another one. Right, 
was lifted. Now, can we get that out? Fuck's sake, Richard. You can see the whole fucking thing's moving around now. Right, let's... Curling the clip in on itself, and it should eventually come out like that. Now, is it going to play the game nicely? Just thinking about it. See? See? Now I've done that, it feels really nice. So I'm wondering, perhaps, if someone had done it up too tight or put the clips in back to front, because it is possible to put the clips in back to front. I don't want to take it apart unless I have to. Let's see if we've got another pair of clips. These are proper circuits. When these things come out, intact I tend to hang on to them they've got a flat side and a curved side as you know because you've watched my videos about prop shafts to do now bash this down working on the edges folks so I can see the groove I can and it feels better again I just think one of the clips was too tight which would make sense because they were absolute as you saw spying to get out right let's do it the correct way with a nuts too big Oh, just about right in the vice. Right, got notchy again, but once I got the clip in the right way round, I reckon a quick tap in each direction and it will feel good again. If it doesn't, it's going to have to come apart. Sometimes you've just got to kind of prove whether it is actually this that's causing your problem or not. It's gone in. Now, let's brush it in each direction. the wrong way round. One of the clips went the wrong way round, I reckon, because that is beautiful now. Didn't have to take it apart. How about that, eh? There's me thinking I was going to have to be the prop shaft. Just had to do it properly, eh? Nicely. Right, let's go and look at the back prop shaft now. Right. That universal trunk feels nice. A bit of old grease there. Feels all right. That one feels a little on the tight side. Let's do the same trick before we. It's better. Let's lube up next. Um, do the splines work? Yes, they do. Oh yes. Right there, Mr. Lube. Let's 
straight out. These joints are clean, sorry, the nipples are clean already, so otherwise you just put more wipe. There we go. Went in there nicely. Just a bit came out there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I put these on. Ganky and brown. It's not the most beautiful grease out there. It does feel better though. I wonder if the whole thing was stored under water perhaps. The good lady fate. Well, she farts again right in my face. Um, so these bolts, they've <laughs> they've been massacred. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, um, but the nuts that come off didn't fit on. Um, I've tried to recut the threads. In fact, that nut is going on now. See, that nut goes on almost all the way up to the thread lock. And the only reason it's not going further is because the thread is absolutely annihilated. I don't know if you can see down there. It's almost like someone's wedged a metric nut on there and then gone back to the correct imperial nut um, because these are three eighths see that doesn't go on more than that it should be three eighths UNF as I understand let me just double check that double check the manual <laughs> right okay so yes they are three eighths UNF because there is the thread for three eighths UNC okay and the nut is clearly not going to go on at all um, the thread for a 3 8 UNF matches, but I mean, you can see this bolt down here, it's just it's been ground back. There's, there's barely any thread left on it, um, and the threads are all flattened out. So, I think someone, unfortunately, some ham fisted gibbon has been in there putting the wrong nuts on them, front and back on the gearbox. So, what that basically means is I'm going to have to take the fucking flanges off. Oh, Jesus H. <laughs> oh, it means I'm going to have to drain the transfer box down anyway. Um, but what a pain in the bottom. Oh, no, that's 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths in there. Um, so these, I believe, are... 3 H U and F, but you can see these these nuts, these are the nuts that, that were kind of wedged on there. They're in a perilous state. Now, it's your prop shaft, folks. Pass me coffee. So I'm going to have to take the hubs off the front and back of the gearbox. Well, I suppose it gives me an opportunity to check for any further gibbonry inside the uh, the handbrake drum, doesn't it? Here's the front output flange, and look at that. That's just fucking shit, isn't it? That one's smooth. It's just, it's gibbonry, I'm afraid, folks. Um, so I need to take off that chappy there, um, and then I'm going to need to order, because I don't think I've got the input and output, sorry, output seals. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I've got output seals in stock, so I'm going to, have to double check the part numbers on those. Um, replace these bolts. Probably have got some of these bolts, but basically they're held in really by that flange there. So the flange can be a bugger to get off, I'll be honest. It's all full of shit and dust anyway. As was the. Um, oh my goodness. As was the. Um, Sick. Handbrake drum. I do know what I'm talking about. Right, okay, so let's pop that in there. I might be able to just get a gem in the gauge. Just down here. Yeah. 
pinch it off. Can you even see? I don't know if you can even see. Probably. There we are. All over there. Pinch this bastard off. One side to the other. And when this is off, I can fit new bolts. But then I'm going to have to fuck around and work out all the mud in there. So it's doing its job. Um, got to work out what is going on then with the uh, seals of off. What shit has it there? Oh my goodness! It's a mixture of underbody wax and mud and sand. Well, this is the sole purpose of this thing is to stop crap getting in towards the, the actual seal or on the front extension. So it's doing its job. Got a lot in there. Well, it's better. Right, now, now we've done that, bolts fall out, you see. Or should fall out. It has busted. Right. And there's the flange, which looks to be more than serviceable. What's the seal her face like? Get that old work. Um, I'll try and get Cortico um, double lipped seals. <laughs> Look, there's just no thread on it at all. So we want gearbox transfer box. What are you looking at? Look at my crutch, are you? Gearbox transfer box. It's going to be in the gearbox. Let's look at transfer box. Um, gearbox transfer box 1H to K and 2C. 1H. Up my boots, there we are, look at that. Output shaft, rear output shaft. <sighs> Bearing, oil shield, oil seal is, let's write that down. So rear oil seal, 906 triple 240. Fucking page just fell open there. Something actually working in my favour today. Right. Rare oil seal I've got is nine O six triple two four zero. Front oil seal as a flange oil seal. Looks like five seven double one seven five. There's a packer, there's a bearing. So this is for front output shaft vacuum activator. Oil seal five seven double one double seven five. The bolts are five oh nine oh four five. The rear bolts are longer. So the rear bolts are 9057626. Let's go and get that rear um, shaft off. Let's see what it looks like. The front one is not bad. Done. Just needs a seal. Oh! Spare one. Just held him with a circling. That should be relatively straightforward. Ah, nice. That circlet comes out, bolts come out. Circlet can go back in for now. And then what I'll do is I'll just put this back on the back end of the gearbox while I'm waiting for seals and so forth to arrive. 